Hey everybody, uh, here's a review of some of the things that we did in class this week, and also I'm going to take some time and go into detail on some things that we didn't have time to look at in detail in class. Uh, we're going to start off in GIMP, make some images for our game. I'm going to make a new image that's 200 pixels wide, 100 pixels high for our cloud. I'm going to zoom in on it so I can look at my work a little bit more closely. As we discussed, I'm going to create a new layer that's filled with transparency. And we can see that that layer appears over our background. I'm going to click on that layer to make sure that I'm working in the transparent layer. The white background is just there as a convenience for us while we work. A nice way to make a cloud is to use um, a feature that shows up in GIMP and in Photoshop and a lot of programs um, that's called uh, selection extension. You start with a basic selection area like an oval and then by holding down the shift key you can extend that selection area by drawing a new shape. So notice the second oval I drew extends the selection. I can continue drawing ovals with the shift key held down to continue to extend the selection area and build up something that looks at least somewhat cartoon cloud like. Once I have a selection area that I like, I can use my paint bucket tool Right now my foreground color is black, my background color is white. Since I want to fill the cloud with white, I'm going to swap my foreground and background by clicking on this double arrow icon. Click the paint bucket on my cloud, turn off my background, then I see, okay, that's a reasonable looking cloud. Uh, also to use a function that we've discussed previously uh, to make this a bit more of a cartoon looking cloud, I can go to my select menu and select a border. I'm going to select a one pixel border around the selection area, grab my paintbrush tool, switch back to a black foreground color, and paint a cloud border in, which gives a nice cartoon cloud effect. If I go to select none, I can see pretty clearly that's what my cloud looks like and the background is transparent. I'll turn off the background and export it as a PNG file. That's a convenient file format that will work in Game Salad and preserve the transparency. I'll call it clouds.png and I'll save it in the tutorial folder. Um, in the export images PNG menu, all of these default settings are fine. Just click export. What else do I need for my game? I'm going to have some sort of spaceship. Uh, so let's make another new image. Again, 200 by 100 pixels. And I'll zoom in on it again. And I'm going to use that same technique. Create a new transparent layer. I'm going to create kind of a long oval spaceship, and this time I'm going to extend the selection using the lasso tool. So I'll hold down the shift key, draw the extension to the selection, and now this entire shape is selected. I can use the paint bucket to fill in the ship, and there's my ship. Another interesting thing you can do is combine the fact that the paint bucket tries to paint only in areas of the same color and in areas that are selected. So I can take this, right now the ship is selected. From the select menu I can invert the selection. So now it's the area outside the ship that's selected. By holding down the shift key I can extend the area of the selection. And then using the paint bucket tool, let's pick a different color. If I click in this area, it'll only paint in this area because it's selected and it matches, it ma it's the same matching color. So now I've got a spaceship with a sort of pink 
windshield. And I will export that as a PNG file, call it ship.png. Uh, also, for my game, I'm going to make some land. Uh, in class, we just use the plain green blocks, like we use the white squares for clouds. But here I have some time to create some land. So I'll make it 200 pixels wide by 400 pixels high. That's quite tall. I'm going to create my empty transparent layer. I'll select most of it. And then I'll use that same thing again. Hold down the shift key to extend the selection. Like so. And paint in some green land. Turn off my background so I have transparency. And then a large area of green land. Export as land.png. Default settings are fine. Finally, I want to create uh, some mountains as a background. So I'll start with a new image. I'm going to make it 500 pixels wide, 700 pixels high. Again, create my transparent layer and work on the transparent layer. I'm going to use the lasso tool again to create some mountain pattern. Use the paint bucket to fill in my mountains with a nice warm brown color. And note that the sky is not white, it's actually transparent. And then uh, I'll show you one other feature of modifying a selection. See right now the mountain area is selection. If I, if I hold down the command key, I can deselect area. So now I've deselected everything except the tips of the mountains, which I will make snowy. So I've got white-tipped mountains against a transparent background. And I will export it as a PNG file, call it mts.png. So now I've got my ship, my lands, my clouds, and my mountain. And I'm ready to go over into game salad.